I would describe my life as a purpose-driven life. Prior to me getting sick, I was very fortunate and I was very successful, retired at a very young age, at 39. So I decided to go back and work at a, at a charter school that I had helped start uh, many years ago. It was then that I ended up having mental health and mental illness. It began to affect my cognitive skills. What made it worse is that your desperation because no one can find what's going on with you. Doctors and psychiatrists and psychologists and neurologists were not able to, to give me uh, what I needed to be able to, uh, to get better. And the process was detrimental to, to how I saw myself. Uh, when I would look myself in the mirror, I was disgusted by what I saw. Uh, because it wasn't me and I felt that little by little I was losing myself. I felt that I had nothing to give. I couldn't help anyone. I could barely help myself. Oftentimes we also associate mental health, uh, sometimes associated with suicide, but you know, I think what's worse than suicide is being alive and feeling dead. Because we've given up on our dreams, we've given up on ourselves, We've given up on everything around us. You begin to question if your life is worth living. Finally, I came across a, a doctor that part of his treatment plan was to do the Tempest DNA test. I never knew that a test like this existed. As a result of this Tempest NP test, we were able to find out that uh, a medication that was actually uh, prescribed to me before actually was the worst thing that they could have provided for me. And so it was devastating uh, to learn that it's like, wow, if I would have had the Tempest NP test, I, this could, that could have been avoided. So when we received the test results back, the doctor and I were able to make more informed decisions because not only does it tell you the medications that you should avoid, it also tells you which medications may be better for you. So we narrowed it down from 100 plus medications down to three. I am still in the recovery stage, but I have to keep reminding myself that I may not be where I want to be, oh, but at least I am not where I used to be. Without Tempest, I would have been living by chance. Maybe the medication would have worked, maybe it wouldn't have. But thankfully, because of that result, I don't have to guess anymore. Even to this very day, every new doctor or psychiatrist, neurologist that I go to before they prescribe anything, I send them the results of my Tempest test for us to make informed decision on, on my health. We're able to sit in this building right now, which is a homeless shelter for high school students. It has been a, a dream of, of mine, and I could have given up, I could have walked away, but I don't quit. As I look into the present and the future, I see joy. 